Hey everyone, I'm going to show you how to install Magic Lantern. This is just a real quick down and dirty install guide. I'm not going to tell you about is Magic Lantern good or bad. Um, I'll assume you've done your homework. So what you want to do is go to magiclantern.fm. You're going to find the download and download it. When you do download it, it's going to come looking a file something similar to that right there. And it's a zip file, as you can see here at the end. And so uh, what I do when I'm trying to reinst reinstall it on new SD cards is I just search on Magic Lantern and, and then it pulls it up. So what you do when you do that is you double click the zip file and it is going to open up your downloads. And then this folder is the unzipped folder right here. And when you double click that, here are all of the active Magic Lantern files that you're going to want to put on your SD card in just a moment. Now technically these are the names of all the different uh, cameras, the 5D, you know, Mark II, 5D Mark II, um, 50D, da 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 da, and then down here at the end, the 600D or the T3i, um, that's mine right there. Plus you need these other um, bits. You don't want to get inside that folder, just leave it as it is. So what you want to do is you take the card that you're going to want to install it on and put it in your camera. And I apologize that it's kind of dark here, but you'll be able to follow what I'm doing. Put that card in my camera and turn my camera on. And by the way, make sure you're in manual mode. I got trumped up for a little bit there, being in, uh, uh, I don't know, auto, uh, aperture priority, I think. So just go to manual mode, hit your menu button, and then you're going to go over to format, click that and go down and just do a low level format and take just a moment. Uh, you guys probably know this, but you want to make sure that on magiclantern.fm it's going to tell you which firmware you should have. For me it says 1.0.2 and so you want to, you can, I verified I am in the correct uh, uh, firmware version, so just double check that. You might have to update Canon first if you're not in the right version. So, having done that, we can now turn off the camera, having just done our low-level format. And once it's turned off, you can get your card out, put that back in our computer, wait for that to show up. There it is right there. So we'll just select all these files, and then we're just going to drag them right onto my SD card. And in just a second, once that's all loaded, I'll eject my card again now that it's got all the files on it and then put it back in the camera and then get that back turned on again. Now here's where you'll mess yourself up if you're not in manual mode. Uh, go over to the third wrench which is the one that allows you to do your firmware version. Go ahead and click into firmware version. It says current version 1.0.2, would you like to update? I'm going to assume all the other like 50D and uh, 5D Mark IIs, etc. probably have a similar process to this. What you want to do is you want to update your firmware version with what I've got on the card. So you say OK. The magic is happening. Da -da -da -dum. There's the happy sign. Success. Down here it says you may now restart your camera. So what you do is you just turn it off. In other words, reboot it. Restart it. Turn it off. Turn it back on again. And then hit your trash can button, which is the magic lantern button. Hit that button. Yay. Success. So if you wanted to just, I've just been going through all these cards here. That's I'm kind of getting into a little pattern a groove here. So basically, if I were to do this to my next card, which is, this is my last card I just did, you turn it off, take your card out, or start with your new card, um, throw it in there, uh, do a low level format, put it in here, drag all these, drop it onto your card, just like we did with this one, throw it back in the ca camera, go to firmware update, say yes I want to update it. It'll do its little thing, it'll say success, you turn it off, turn it back on again, 
push your trash can button and then it'll show your magic lantern button or menu and then you know you've, you've got another card done and you just work your way through all of your cards just like that. Anyway, I hope that helps anybody who's uh, wanting a down and dirty guide to installing Magic Lantern. Thanks.